the British Navy, which once ruled the seas, is facing a big problem. Its ships can't seem to leave the dock. Aircraft carriers are breaking down. There is an acute shortage of personnel. And now a British nuclear submarine missile launch has failed. As a Trident nuclear missile that was being tested misfired and fell just a bit of a distance away from the submarine from where it was launched. This is worrying not only for the United Kingdom, but also a big concern for the British allies like the United States. It is a massive gaping hole in the British armor at a time when Russia has continued to pound Ukraine and the United Kingdom needs to guard the waters as threats are emerging, ranging from the Houthis to perhaps even the Chinese. Our next port tells you as to what ails the British Navy. The Royal Navy, whose once mighty fleet of ships ruled the oceans, to help the British Empire extend its reach around the globe. Today, it struggles with having become a pale shadow of its former self. In yet another embarrassment, Britain's Trident nuclear deterrent system misfired during a test last month. The Sun newspaper reported that the missile crashed into the Florida coast near the submarine that launched it. The Trident test fiasco itself is just the tip of the iceberg. Royal Navy ships are breaking down mid-voyage. In 2020, aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales suffered a devastating flooding incident. Earlier this month, the $3.7 billion HMS Queen Elizabeth had to pull out of the largest NATO naval exercises since the Cold War. The reason? A problem in the propeller exposing vulnerabilities in one of the crown jewels of the fleet. These equipment failures are compounded by a critical shortage of personnel. In 2022, the Navy admitted being 7,000 sailors short of its target strength leading to over-restricted crews and strained operations. So much so that the Royal Navy had to decommission two warships for lack of staff. The desperate need to find talent even led to an unprecedented move in December 2023. A high-ranking Rear Admiral position was advertised on LinkedIn. Last month in the Red Sea, Houthis attacked an oil tanker with links to the UK. The fire was successfully put out by the Indian Navy's INS Vishakhapatnam. Defence sources in the UK claimed that Royal Navy ships could not help because they lacked surface-to-surface -surface missiles. There are many such problems. So what led to this decline? Budget cuts, post-Cold War complacency and an over-reliance on outdated technology have all played their part. A weakened navy undermines Britain's global reach and influence, impacting trade, security and international partnerships. Clearly, Britain's image as a proud maritime power, with the navy as its cornerstone, lies tattered. Bureau Report, Rian, World is One. And we earlier spoke with Mr. Greg Swenson, an international affairs expert from London, listening to what he had to say indication of of the lack of of credible commitments to to keeping the navy in tier one form and and whereas i don't think the failure of this particular trident missile and and, and as you know it happened it, it happened previously in uh in theresa may's administration a few years ago i don't think that's in itself a big problem i think you know this was just you know an unfortunate mishap but I think it, it points to the bigger issues, which they'll be addressing in the House of Commons today. And it's not just the Navy, it's also the Army. You know, um, in 1989, when the Berlin Wall fell, there were 153,000 British soldiers in the Army. Tony Blair brought it down to 110,000. David Cameron, this is both, both parties, uh, David Cameron brought it to, to 87,000. And now he's, he's the current uh, foreign minister. And then the plan is to get it down to, to 82,000. And many expect it's really realistically, it should be, it will be closer to 70,000. So, you know, this is not a good moment for both the Navy. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.